Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We are here on day two for the military suicide. Do we have blood splatter on the wall? A little bit on the bottom. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. This was all underneath the sill plate and it traveled down and into the other side. For the most part finished with clearing out the area so it's safe for us to work in. Uh, we left food out for the cat, but we still haven't found the cat. So we've found a pet carrier, we found wet food, we found dry food. So I'm hoping as time goes on, he or she will feel a little more comfortable and come out so we can save him or her. Uh, but we're going to start on this right now. And this is not going to be pretty because we're going to have to jack up tile, which is going to create a really loud noise and probably going to scare the shit out of this cat, which is not going to make our matters easier. It goes down and around. Yeah. And then it actually comes over here to the other side of the closet. Correct. So we have blood splatter on the wall. A little bit on the bottom. Okay, I see. And we have blood splatter on the closet door behind us. Mm -hmm. We have blood splatter inside the closet as well. This is bio here, it's laying in the bio. Yeah. This is what he used, obviously. 56. Is it 56 color? Yeah. So this just happened uh, last night, I think, right? And it's already dried. It's really, really cool in here. Yeah. Do you think we can pry those rubber feet off? Yeah, I'll clean them too. So I need sanitizer for the tile that we don't have to take up. You want to jack first? No, I want to clean our okay. clean our safes a little bit. So we know where we're working. So from the looks of it, the tile grout is sealed. I don't think that made a difference here. No, here, absolutely not. No way, it's coagulated and... So we're just doing the prep work now. That's why we're not suited up. We're just kind of getting our scene ready here because there's a lot involved in it. I'm hoping it's concrete board in between levels. Yeah. Because we're on the second floor. Yeah, second floor. And I really don't want to have to cut into some... Somebody's... We don't want to have to go downstairs and say, Granny, is something leaking in your ceiling? And it's not water, honey. Nope. Okay, so we're about to start kicking up this tile here. I think we have about 16 tiles that we're going to be taking here, so it's going to get loud, so stay tuned. It got glued, and I think the glue saved the wall. They put ceramic tile over cork floor, and you can see all the blood. Wow, that's insane. What in the hell? Always something new in this business. That was strange because the tile is mortared on cork board? Is that cork board? It's cork flooring. Cork flooring. What they did was they used it as a sound absorber. Right. That's a great idea. Until you go to chip it up. Yeah, but I think it saved the subfloor from too much blood. 100%. Look at that. So they actually used... Is it glued on cork? Yeah, they glued, yeah. They glued it on. 
Yeah, that's a great idea for soundproofing. When we actually come back in here and uh, put it all back together, not today, uh, we will have to take that into consideration because if we don't, it's going to be not level. Super. And if it's tiles not level, then it's going to crack. Now, that was a lot of noise, and I don't know where this cat is. Most likely freaking terrified. But I don't, I mean, this is a small one bedroom yeah. condo. So I don't know where this cat is. We'll find her before we leave. Yeah, it's my mission. I'm not leaving this cat in here to starve to death. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep going here and- uh, You keep watching. So we're just gonna take up the rest of this uh, so when we come back in here to put it all back together, it will be even. And that's how you do that shit, yo. What was I doing? I don't know. What were you doing? <laughs> You're so mean. Yeah, that's what I had to do. I had to just sweep it because I was like, ah. When you first started hitting this, I thought it was carpet padding. So did I. And then you're like, it's cork. And I'm like, that's fucking brilliant. It was going to be incredibly stupid, though, if somebody had carpet padding on it. I've seen it before. Oh, my God. So we found the cat. And we're going to try to get the cat now. I'm gonna grab the canned food that I had set. Why? And see if she'll eat. I don't think she's this scared. Would you eat? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Of course I'd eat. This is not gonna be easy. So we should probably get her before we start chipping again. Yeah. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. Are you ready? Can I pick you up yet? Oh, hi, kitty. Can I pick you up yet? This poor baby, she's probably scared to death. Are you ready for me to pick you up? Oh my god. She's oh, just... Oh, look at her. I'm gonna start crying or something. Or something. Or something. She's so soft. Or he. beautiful. Or he, I don't know. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna try to pick you up, okay? Do you want to hand me the food first? Oh, she's walk he's walking towards me. Oh. Here, see if we'll take a bite. You want some food? Are you comfortable enough? No, you just want to rat. Yeah. Why are you nudging my nose? Why are you like all up in my face now? Are you a little boy or a little girl? I mean a big boy or a big girl, because you're a big cat. Okay, the gender's irrelevant at this point. Let's get into the cage. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to... Oh, look at that. She's following baby. me, so I'm gonna try to let her jump down by herself. Oh, there's no way. You don't think so? I don't think so, but you can try it. Here, you want me to move this? I'll move that out of the way. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. my God. What a sweetie pie. Okay, one more level, okay? That's a pretty cat. Oh, man. Oh, my God, my heart is just breaking. I think you need a cat at home. I'm pretty sure I be divorced before I'm even married. Are no, you gonna jump down for me? Come on. Move the oats on. Come on. Oh, look at that. You wanna go in there? Are you gonna be okay to go in there? I would be ecstatic. I mean, she probably she just... heard the gunshot and scared the shit out of her. It's a buoy. Oh, is he neutered? No, he's got the balls. Great, that means he sprays. You wanna go in? You can go to a new home. You're gonna meet Sammy. Oh, we just got another call for a decomp in, oh, that's like three hours away from here. We're no. In, we're in Pinellas Park. Oh, well, yeah, maybe. So he's gonna go into the van. Come on, buddy. And some AC. And some AC. Ooh, he's as drunk, Keith. Do you wanna just put him in the front seat? Yeah, we can do that. Will he oh, freak out? Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh you sweet. Oh, look at... What did he just do? He's burying his head. Look. Oh, my gosh. He's scared and heartbroken. Look at, I have never seen a cat do that. That is so sweet. Oh, my gosh. He's so soft. All right. You're going to be our travel kitty, huh? Mm-hmm. And we'll finish up this job and head to the next.
It's under the wall. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We just added an additional two fucking hours. Shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's all the way under the wall. Awesome. Not awesome at all. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. Okay, so before I go any deeper, um, I'm gonna suit back up because it went underneath the wall, so this whole oh. wall has to come out. So we have to figure out our next game plan. Mm -hmm. Aww. We are here on day two for the military suicide. The cat is doing phenomenal. His name is Benji. And I came in 15 minutes early just to make sure to give him some extra love and feed him and, and change his litter box. I have new chores now, but it's definitely worth it. So I'm just gathering a couple of things so we can remove the base plate and move on to our day. I think we have another three jobs after this. We have Nick and Juan dispatched on two other jobs. So it's gonna be kind of crazy today, just like it was yesterday. Yesterday's total jobs ended up being four. So we didn't get home until 7.30 last night. Gonna watch my work. We're back. Day two. So what we're doing today is um, blood went underneath the seal plate here and after we removed the tile and the lovely cork board that was underneath it. So uh, we are going to remove this seal plate and uh, replace it temporarily until our contractor gets back here and uh, we'll treat the subfloor because you can see the blood is sitting there. So we're gonna saws all this bad boy out and um, I brought the blades up as well, an extension cord on a wrap, so that way in case we needed the extender. Oh, should we grab that? What's that? I don't know, what's that called? Oh yeah, we should grab, we're gonna, well we have to go through and get rid of all the stuff. That, like, Just the board, I don't know if there's any board left. I don't either, but right. we'll rack up cat toys and stuff like that for Benji. He's amazing. Yeah, so Benji's at our office and um, he's doing really well. He at first was a little timid of Sammy, the dog, and now they're like, ignore each other really. So uh, they're doing great. Uh, Benji stays at the office overnight, super friendly when everybody comes in during the day. Uh, the office staff is spoiling him with lots of trees. Oh my God, he's spoiled. He's gonna be a fat house cat by the end, um, probably a week or so. If yeah. she shed gets a hold of those treats, yeah. like she did with my puppies. Yep, so uh, I think he's a great addition to our family. office family. Yep, yeah. absolutely, so we're, we're grateful to have him. Yeah, my name's Kyle, I don't know how to work a tool that I've worked a billion times. So we're going on a scavenger hunt for Benji toys. Um, because he needs all the love that he can get. So trying to make him feel at home, so bringing toys from here rather than buying new, as long as they're clean, will kind of give him that familiarity. I don't even think I said that right, but that's okay, because you guys know how I talk anyway, or don't talk. Um, so we're just trying to go on a scavenger hunt for stuff like his stuff, and then we'll start doing the bio and uh, be good you go. It's time to play with the power tools. So just because I know that um, I'm taking out the sill plate and there's gonna be nails and things like that, I just wanna have a little extra for my super soft hands so that way if I get stabbed by something, uh, they'll go through the rubber. But I'm, because it's bio, I'm still gonna use a, I'm still gonna use my black gloves underneath it too as an extra barrier and I'm gonna put a N95 respirator on. So yesterday before we left in a super hurry, we uh, poured our part A chemical, which is super, super corrosive, but it actually eats and annihilates the part A, or part A, it actually eats the bodily fluid. So I'm just gonna throw a, a, an N95 respirator on so I can have just a little bit of protection over my mouth. I'm not breathing all that extra dust in. I need a new blade. Turn you little devil. Did it again! 
Oh, fuck, I'll electrocute myself. My hands are vibrating. I'm trying not to get dirty before I go to Sunny's for some ribs. So we found a stash of bottles, which I'll grab here. We knew he had a drug problem, but I think it just escalated into actually selling it. This guy here, you just set on top. Don't ask me how I know this. You put it on the bottle and you crimp it shut. So that way it seals. So I have a feeling that he was actually selling this stuff. I laugh at myself because it's the only way I can get through these kinds of jobs. So me being goofy and silly and happy all the time is rather annoying, even for myself, but it's the only way I can get through these jobs. So if I have to deal with my own annoying self, I am so sorry for you because you guys don't have to deal with me. So I'm gonna play with Kyle's butt hair while he <laughs> does this. That's my lower back. <laughs> Stupid. That's still your butt hair. So what we're doing right now is, um, well, Kyle's completely destroying the wall, but what I'm going to be doing <laughs> is uh, the base plate, or some people call it seal plate. Not kick plate. Nah, yeah, not kick plate. Is laid down first and then a, a bolt is shot through it to keep it as straight as possible and as level as possible. Then the wall is built on top of that. So what it's really bloody in there. So what we're trying to do is take the sawzall and go underneath it and cut the bolt to release it. And then we're gonna slip a brand new um, piece of wood in there to uh, stabilize this wall. So we're having trouble because uh, the sawzall tends to overheat after it gets um, pretty hot because you're going through so many pieces of not only wood, but you're going through really thick, pe uh, thick nails that he's trying to dislodge right now. Hold my beer. I'm going to take over. You're stupid. Out of the way. Hairy boy. That's how shit's done. I already got you, baby. I got, oh, no, hold on. It's been too long since I've had sex, Christ. Well, we just found a screwdriver. Get it in there. Oh, God, you're good at that. I know. Oh, that's also what she said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want to see it goes all the way up? Well, yeah. With the screwdriver. Yeah, so what I'm gonna what I'm gonna attempt to do is I'm going to just attempt to bend and well, put pressure. Why don't we just unscrew it? Or well I guess we would need the drill to make that efficient. Yeah. So I'm gonna just attempt to hold pressure in one spot. <laughs> That's not bio. No, I oh. No. Ah, there we go. Can so I lift it? Ow, that just goes right through my fingers when you hammer metal. Yes. There we go. I do, I see it. Oh, you see it now? Yep, and I'm working it. Okay. Oh, watch your fingers. You know what? Yes. All right, this is why. So it trapped. You don't leave and it traveled. The plate in there, because the smell will never go away. Ever. And there's a ton of blood that's still under here. So we gotta cut another piece, but the bolt, you see that bolt? This part, right here. We actually snapped it, is yeah, what we did. It's thick as shit. And, and they're uh, about three inches, aren't they like three inches? They're long. Three and, and a half, four thick, inches. So long we still thick. got another part to cut and I think we're gonna have to take more out of this side of the wall. Your hair is so crazy right now. I know. <laughs>
So what happens when you work for a living, right? Yeah, that's why I just started shaving my head. So the bolt here is what holds it down into the ground. This was all underneath the sill plate and it traveled down and into the other side. Blood. Public service announcement. Do not kill yourself next to a load bearing wall. Don't kill yourself, period. At all, it's not. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> oh don't God. do it. But if you do do it, please don't do it next don't to a load just, bearing wall. Don't just, do it. Just doing it is not an option, okay? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> did all this work of uh, pulling this out because all that blood was sitting underneath there. So um, if you try to cut corners and don't do that, uh, you're going to have a horrendous smell. Yeah, you'll be uh, but these probably are, a weed. These are such a bitch to get out because they're so thick and we literally have to cut them with a, with a metal blade. So now we got to treat the floor. So let's have Fuck, it back that's first. that's a lot. Yeah, let's have it back. Clean it up, and then I can start applying. Give me just one second. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Or is it hang loose? No. I don't know. Shocker? Yes. Here, do the shocker. How about that? Okay, I'll do the shocker if you do that. Just trying to clean up a little bit. We're getting to the tail end of the job here. While he's finishing up the very end of it, I'm trying to put our uh, tools away. And kind of get a head start. We did a lot of construction demo, so there's like drywall dust and stuff that I want to um, sweep up here and just kind of clean up after myself. Leave it cleaner than I found it. I got Benji, his... Um, Looks like flea meds, preventative medicine. So we're good to go with Benji. Go back to the office and see how Benji and Sammy are getting along. But we were listening to our Tommy. There's no reason that family needs to see that. Especially since the, the father's coming in today. One more cut off. Sponge me. They're gonna have to repaint, repaint anyway, but. but this at least, they'll never have to see what was written on the wall before he shot himself. We do everything in our power to make sure that the family doesn't see anything that happened moments before. I just happened to find the matching color to the bedroom, so I'm gonna touch that up so that it looks like it was never there. Right, let's do this. You wanna go grab the kills? Dad is coming in tonight, and I don't want him to see that that was written on there. So, I'm gonna try to blend it in. I'm not a very good painter, so. So now what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna seal the floor just in case any residual odor or anything this really helps block it and just keep the um, subfloor 
uh, clean. We've already disinfected it. We've cleaned it up and uh, we're just gonna seal it now. And hopefully this will have dried and look halfway decent because I'm not a good painter. So all I'm doing is just sealing everything up. So that way it looks a little better since the father is on the way. What was the time frame? An hour? Two hours? For what? For the father? Uh, tonight. Tonight, so this will be completely dry for when he comes in. I'm trying to just put on an even coat all the way around. Uh, it's gonna look so much better for him. That you play where you... Uh, Twister. Twister, yeah, I feel like we play Twister. You're gonna have to climb over the bed, lipstick. Oh, I know. Okay, I'm All right, we are all done on this job today. Two days, two people. The first day we filmed ourselves. The second day, we had our amazing videographer back. So she was super, super bossy, explaining exactly how to do stuff, and it was all for you. Have a good day. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. That's it guys. On to the next.